Iran is preparing an attack on Israel that will use its most powerful weapons. That's the message from Iranian and Arab officials who reportedly told the Wall Street Journal that it planned to use stronger weapons not used in its previous two ballistic missile attacks on Israel. An Egyptian official told the journal they were informed by Iran that its response to Israel's airstrikes on its territories on October 26th will be strong and complex. According to the officials, the attack will target Israeli sites much more aggressively than last time and that Iraqi territory may be used to launch projectiles. Last month, some 100 Israeli planes took part in an attack that reportedly knocked out key Iranian air defense. The Iranian attack was in reprisal for Iran firing 180 ballistic missiles at Israel in early October. With or without a diplomatic agreement, Hezbollah will be moved beyond the Litani River. That's the message from Prime Minister Netanyahu. While visiting troops on the northern border, Netanyahu vowed that Israel will achieve the conditions it needs to restore security to the area and keep Hezbollah at a distance. International mediators have been attempting to broker a ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah that would be based on UN Resolution 1701 that requires Hezbollah to deploy beyond the river, located about 30 kilometers inside Lebanese territory. The ceasefire would also bar the terrorists from rearming and allow Israel to enforce any infractions. Backing up the Prime Minister's words, the IDF continues advancing in South Lebanon, where troops are locating and destroying Hezbollah underground infrastructure and its stockpile of weapons that had been deployed for attack against Israel. The IDF has revealed that it carried out a commando raid in Syria and captured an operative gathering intel for Iran. The commando raid took place in southern Syria in late August, and the man targeted was allegedly carrying out surveillance operations on the border for the Iranians. The raid was carried out by the Egos commando unit, along with field interrogators from the IDF intelligence. The Iranian agent was identified as Ali Suleiman al-Adi, a Syrian from the village of al Saida. The army said that al-Adi was involved in collecting intelligence on the IDF movements in the Golan Heights along the Syrian-Israeli border. The IDF released footage from the interrogation and the suspect admitted that he passed information directly to his Iranian handlers. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.